Ghosts and ghouls of all ages converged in Children's Park for the Lake Orion DDA's annual Halloween extravaganza. Over at the Orion Center, families enjoyed fun and games, creepy creatures, and a hayride to a pumpkin patch during Orion Township's Boo Bash event. Downtown Lake Orion and Oxford joined forces for Witches' Night, inviting local ladies to enjoy a spooky evening of shopping, sipping, and dining. And the Lake Orion Dragons hosted the Sailing Hornets under the Friday Night Lights. Did the Dragons close out their regular season with the win? We'll have the highlights coming up. Hello everyone, I'm Stacey Calloway. We'll have those spooky stories and more on this edition of Owen TV News. The Halloween season is upon us and there is no shortage of frightfully fun events for Lake Orion residents to take part in. Recently, it looked as if the Orion Center was haunted as costume characters roamed throughout the building for a popular event. Nice weather allowed the fun to spill outside as well. On the evening of Friday, October 14th, the Orion Center was the site of Orion Township's annual Boo Bash. Families pre-registered for two time slots at 5.30 and 7.30. Inside, visitors enjoyed cider and snacks, games, face painting, photo opportunities, and waste management sponsored some creepy crawly creatures courtesy of the Leslie Science and Nature Center out of Ann Arbor. Outdoors, local businesses and organizations set up trick-or-treat stations and a hay wagon took passengers for a short ride to a pumpkin patch near the Polly Ann Trail. So we have our annual Boo Bash today and the weather is doing great so we're luckily to have to have it outside. So this is a pre-registered event. Um, it's $10 per child for residents and $13 for non-residents. Um, we do sell out every year. This year we sold out at about 170 kids, um, which is really awesome. We sold out the day of too. Wow. <laughs> the first Boo Bash was held in 2008 at Friendship Park. It moved to the brand new Orion Center in 2012, but the COVID pandemic forced organizers to move it back to Friendship Park in 2020. It returned to the Orion Center in 2021. So we have um, our amazing sponsors from Oakview Middle School, the You Before Me group. They're um, amazing, wonderful kids and they are super excited to always be here. We also have um, local businesses being part of our Trick or Treat Street. Um, and our you know, wonderful park staff and maintenance staff, they're always amazing. Uh, Walgreens is here, Waste Management Sponsoring, Leslie Science Nature Center is here. It's always a full team effort. In 2018, voters approved a Parks and Rec Millage that allows Orion Township to offer discounted and free events to residents throughout the year. You'll see a request to renew that millage when you go to the polls on November 8th. For more information, visit orionparks.com. Less than a week later, downtown Lake Orion was bustling with paranormal activity for an event that has evolved over time, but is still as popular as ever. On Wednesday, October 19th, the Lake Orion community descended on Children's Park in the village for the DDA's annual Halloween extravaganza. This longtime Lake Orion tradition started out as a parade down Broadway, but was forced to adapt when the pandemic arrived in 2020. Now families visit approximately 25 trick-or-treat stations set up throughout the park, where local businesses and organizations hand out candy and gifts. The DDA provided cider and donuts and a DJ spun some spooky tunes. It's now on Well, I mean, Halloween and family-friendly activities has been a tradition for Lake Orion. Um, this particular tradition um, has grown out of Lake Orion growing up and becoming more busy. Um, we used to be able to be quiet enough that we could um, send the kids down the middle of the street safely and uh, and now it's not as safe to do that so we decided to have them come and parade around in the park and we've got arrows all over the place just follow the arrows that'll help um, keep everybody moving um, smoothly. The community really came together to make this event possible with volunteers helping out 
businesses donating candy, and of course the sponsors. Yes, actually we've got some students here from um, the local school district. They're here volunteering their time. We have a teal pumpkin. Um, teal pumpkins are for, um, so the kids know uh, with allergies, they know that they can go there and get something that is safe for them. And then we did have some local businesses who donated the candy. I think it was Prime Time and Amazing Petals. They both donated candy and we've got students handing out the candy for them. Um, we've got some new sponsors. We have Flip Spot, Gymnastics and Cheer, R&R &R Med Spa, um, and a, a classic um, Megan Spencer Berkshire Hathaway Key Realty. Um, we have Haney Farm Bureau, M&B Graphics, and Meyer and Lowe's Beauty Spa. So we have a lot of sponsors this year for this, and we're excited that everyone's here. Just a few days later, Ligorian United Methodist Church was the site of a very special Halloween event. On Saturday, October 22nd, the organization known as AU Special Needs Foundation partnered with the Lake Orion United Methodist Church for the annual Trunk or Treat event. Dozens of decorated vehicles were lined up in the parking lot handing out candy and treats while fun activities were taking place inside the church. Um, inside we have a lot of games and food, a um, place where kids can go to calm down or be quiet or in private if they need to. Uh, there's restrooms. Uh, I think there's a movie in there this year too. Um, all of our special needs community, mainly Lake Orion and Oxford, and we just extended the invite to Lapeer Community Schools and Clarkston Community Schools. I haven't heard back, so I don't know if they're coming, but Lake Orion and Oxford every year for like eight, 10 years now. Those handing out candy were recruited through social media with many returning to take part in the event every year. Oh my God, they're amazing. Lake Orion and Oxford's village, they're, they're just amazing people. They come together without any questions. They just, whatever you need, we're here for you. Of course, Halloween isn't just for the little ones. Over the past several years, Oxford has been encouraging ladies to set their inner witches free during an annual fall event. And this year, Lake Orion got in on the fun. On the evening of Saturday, October 22nd, downtown diners may have been surprised to spot a coven of witches gathered on a street corner. There was no cause for alarm. The women were just taking part in Witches' Night, a fun event created by the Oxford DDA to encourage local shopping and dining. It was the first time Lake Orion took part in the event. All these shops have specials going on, drink specials, discounts. You're going to want to come down here, and we're going to say thank you to Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, Key Realty, Megan Spencer for sponsoring this evening. I see all kinds of witches hats and capes and beautiful, you know, makeup. It's a lot of fun. They look great. Participants received a swag bag and took part in a scavenger hunt, hoping to win a $25 gift card. EXP Realty was one of 14 Lake Orion businesses offering specials and treats. The timing was fantastic. We heard how wonderful our, our neighbor city to the north, Oxford, has done with this event. Um, it's a great time when the weather is still nice to get out and have a festive night. Um, the Witches' Night in Lake Orion, our first year, um, it's early and I already see hundreds of witches and warlocks on the street. And um, we're hoping everybody will stop in at EXP Realty Lake Orion. And we've got a psychic reader and um, some of the cider and donuts and some gift basket giveaways and but we're just excited to participate in this event and hopefully build it for years to come. A trolley appeared every 20 minutes to transport participants to Oxford and back. Things were jumping in downtown Oxford and the real men of Oxford were offering photo ops in their inflatable pink chair. It's so amazing. Like I said, I just joined, so this is my first Witches' Night, and I am thrilled to see, after all of the work and the planning that Kelly and I have done with, for this event, to see so many ladies and men that have come downtown dressed up, participating in the specials, shopping in the businesses, visiting the restaurants. It's wonderful. Next up on the Lake Orion DDA's calendar is the Sing and Stroll tree lighting ceremony scheduled for Thursday, November 17th, beginning at 4 p.m. Sip some hot cocoa while enjoying performances by Broadway Dance Company and the High School Choir. Ride in a horse-drawn carriage, and of course, Santa and Mrs. Claus will make an appearance. For more information, visit downtownlakeorion.org. The staff at the Orion Area Chamber of Commerce has had their hands full recently as they scramble to celebrate all the grand openings, reopenings, and anniversaries taking place within the local business community. 
On Thursday, October 13th, representatives of the Chamber of Commerce and the Lake Orion DDA gathered on the rooftop patio at 214 South Broadway to help Treva celebrate its official grain opening with a ribbon cutting ceremony. Help me out, please. Three, Three two, one. Woo! Yeah. Oh, it's wonderful. We love the camaraderie, all the people. We love to show off our great space and our amazing team. But I think it's so important to be involved in the community. You know, we give to the community, the community gives back to us. It's such a team effort. We'll be involved in, you know, now that we're downtown, we're going to be involved in the Rotary Club Golf Challenge this winter. Any way we can partner with the Chamber, other organizations downtown, we're always happy to do so. And any businesses that need staffing help, we're happy to step in and provide those services. So it's, it's such a two-way partnership with the community and with the business. Treva is a boutique staffing company that focuses on the healthcare industry. They currently provide staff to McLaren's Lake Orion Nursing and Rehabilitation Center in downtown Lake Orion. Treva opened its doors in January of 2022 on the third floor of this commercial building that offers a spectacular view of the lake. Our team um, started back in 2016, end of 2016, and Treva, the company was named after my mom, who um, has, is deceased, and she was always a very huge giver to whatever she was involved with, very big into volunteering. She used to be the lady that was ringing the bell for Salvation Army, and so as a child, I kind of grew up in that type of a community, like a family environment, giving, always giving back. Um, so that's, you know, it was an honor to take her name and do something great with it. So we, we all feel every day that we're making a difference in people's lives by giving them better jobs. And um, Missy, for example, she's constantly doing succession planning for her team and making sure that they're in the right location, great placements, and. It's, and our, our clients love that about our team, is that we really work hard to make sure people are successful. We're not just dumping people into seats, per se, and hoping that they work out and collecting the, the money from the proceeds from that. We really make sure that we vet our, our employees and put them in the right position. For more information, you can call 248-935-9561 or visit trevacorp.com. Just one week later, the Chamber staff was added again, this time to honor a local business that has served the Lake Orion community for decades in one form or another. On Thursday, October 20th, representatives of the Chamber of Commerce gathered at Great Lakes Ace Hardware to help the staff celebrate their grand reopening. I've been in this company for almost 20 years, um, and that's all I, I've ever known how to do is is uh, is help people. Um, it doesn't matter where I've come from or where I am at, am now, but um, I always tell everybody in the store that um, I can teach anybody anything that goes on inside the four walls of the store, um, but I can't teach personality. I can't teach people to talk to other people. Um, and that's usually how we do our hiring here is we, we hire personality and we teach them the hardware business. So um, to be able to help the community um, when someone comes, you know, five minutes before the store is supposed to close and holding plumbing parts in their hand and you know that they have their water turned off and <laughs> if you don't help them, um, they're going to have to wait till tomorrow to have, your, have their water turned back on. So that's what it's all about. Great Lakes Ace Hardware has occupied this space in the Kroger Plaza for approximately 10 years. Before that, it was an ACO, and before that, it was Ace Hardware. The Chamber was there to help the store celebrate its recent expansion, gaining about 2,000 additional square feet to its current size of 14,000 square feet. Back in February, when we started this whole, this whole remodel, um, there was a wall right here in the store that kind of divided the two parts of the store. Um, in the one part of the store, you really couldn't even see what was over there. Um, and then when um, we got the opportunity to expand, um, the landlord's office used to be over in the part where we expanded too, and he um, was graceful, gracious, gracious enough to, to let us have that area. Uh, and then the, the re re remodel was born. Um, so we, you know, new paint job, um, additional product, um, redesigning of the store so that it lays out correctly, um, just better for the, the whole community. For more information, you can call 248-814-8058 or visit acehardware.com. 
The Lake Orion Dragons varsity football squad recently headed into the final game of their regular season with a 4-4 record. Did they finish up the 2022 season with a win? ONTV's Joe Johnson was on the sidelines and has the highlights. <laughs> On the evening of Friday, October 21st, the 4-4 four four Dragons hosted the visiting Celine Hornets, who started the season 6-0 before dropping two in a row heading into this game. Lake Orion received the opening kickoff and managed to drive all the way to the Hornets' 29. Facing a 4th and 8, quarterback T.R. Hill is in shotgun. He takes the snap, keeps it, and it looks like he got a first down, but he fumbles the ball and Celine recovers it on their own 17. Heading the other way, the Hornets have a third and 10 on Lake Orion's 46 when quarterback C.J. Carr hits number 11, Cade Fox, at the 50, and he skirts the sideline all the way to the 24. On first and goal from the 10, Carr hands off to senior Garrett Baldwin, who goes right and finds the end zone. The PAT was good, and the Hornets get on the scoreboard first. Following another Lake Orion fumble, Celine begins their next drive on Lake Orion's 18-yard line. On third and eight, Carr hits Cade Fox, who is taken down on the one. Following a penalty, the Hornets have a first and goal from the six. Carr keeps the ball and goes in for the score. 14-0 Celine with two minutes left in the first. The Dragons are driving in the second quarter when Hill takes a sack that puts them at fourth and 13 on Celine's 33-yard line. Hill is under center. He takes the snap, fakes the handoff, and launches it toward the end zone. Brother Dorian Hill makes the catch, and following the extra point, the Dragons are on the board. 14-7, Celine with 9.33 left in the second. With the first half winding down, Lake Orion faces a fourth and 21 and lines up for a punt just inside their own 40. The snap is mishandled, and Celine takes possession on Lake Orion's 40-yard line. On the very next play, Carr hits a wide open Cade Fox who goes 40 yards into the end zone to give the Hornets a 28-7 lead at the half. The score is 42-14 in the fourth quarter with the Dragons facing a second and 15 on Celine's 23. Hill is in shotgun. He lofts a pass into the hands of Dorian Hill for one last touchdown. Beautiful throw, beautiful catch. The final 49-21 Celine. Despite finishing the season below 500 with four and five record, Lake Orion made it into the postseason. They will travel to Rochester Hills on Friday, October 28th to take on the 8-1 Rochester Adams Highlanders. From Dragon Stadium, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ON TV Sports. Thanks, Joe. And with that, we'll wrap up this spooky edition of ON TV News. Halloween falls on a Monday this year, and as usual, trick-or-treating hours are 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. in both the township and the village. We here at ON TV wish you and your family a happy and safe Halloween. Thanks for watching.